Hello and welcome to section 7, Manage Risks and Safeguard Profits with Portfolio Risk Management. In this section, we'll first start off by reviewing again the Performance Analytics Package, which we'll use throughout this section. Video 2 and 3 will cover the Expected Shortfall and Value at Risk model, while Video 4 will focus more on the Value at Risk approach. We can then start to get practical and look at some hedging strategies against exposure. We are on our warm up introduction to performance analytics. Of course, we have already covered performance analytics in the previous section. So in this video, we'll just focus on examples of functions related to the value at risk and expected shortfall. As mentioned, we have some functions that can be used for the VAR and ES calculation. We'll then look to visually plot these risk analytics. Moving on to the R console, as usual, we have the initial setup and the check to make sure the correct package is installed and loaded. I would again recommend reading through the performance analytics help function. You can actually scroll down and see areas what we'll be focusing on, such as the value at risk. Here we have time series data. As I've mentioned before, this package is especially useful when dealing with an XCS dataset. And it also has the manager's dataset, which contains various portfolio like data. This is something we'll be using in our section today. Here we come to the risk analysis section. If we continue to scroll, we actually have information surrounding the value at risk. The QNorm function, as well as other risk estimators such as mean and volatility, will be useful when calculating the value at risk. Similarly, with the expected shortfall, it allows us to follow the various types of methods for calculating these.